your your regular tempo first. So you can see that losing some balance. Yeah, really yeah, and that you can see that club's rising up, and you're kind of lifting and then coming back down on it. And again, if you time it well, as you did on some swings here, you get away with it, but a little tough. So what I've suggested is we kind of get you to you know put the club down first, so the shaft angle might be slightly raised. You can see right, maybe at your at your navel. And once you've done that, you really want to, from the hips forward, just stand a little prouder than that, a little taller spine angle. And if you stand a little taller, you can actually move in on the ball a little more, right? Okay. Minimally. Then, as a tall guy, and a lot of tall players, you'll see the VJ Sings, the Stuart Sings, Kenny Perrys, you can have more knee flex. So by flexing your knees more and staying tall on your spine, you can stay balanced and in a more comfortable position. And you'll be able to have your chin out a little more, you know, like you mentioned in the last couple swings. Everything else as far as grip, alignment, club face, you know, width of stance, all those things were solid. No worries there. Going to watch your takeaway now and see the club going back from the ball. Yeah, and taking the club back with your arms first, okay? And as you continue back with your arms, now your arms rise up your body and literally pulls you up. See how your legs move apart? Mm -hmm. That's a very good, that's a very common sign that your arms are pulling the club back and up because everything unravels. See that? If your shoulders turn away from the ball due to better balanced positions, see your lower body stays quieter. See between your knees, there's not much room there. You got a lot more space, right? Your actual right leg locks, left knee moves forward, and on the way back down, we're going to show you. Here's the recovery. Your arms come down in front of your body, you reflex the right knee, you clear the left hip, and you extend on through and get to the target, but a little balance loss at the end because of that quickness. If you could do that all the time, you know, then fine. But if it causes variations in results, we've got to stabilize and improve balance and stability. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that because your arm is coming down ahead of your lower body to compensate.